Wow, okay. Oh! Oh yes, I love this part! just thought it is on my recommended and I was like I have to do this I really want to do this because I just saw on my recommended EXO Obsession live and I was like Obsession I would really like to see Obsession live and then I saw that there's an X version and an EXO version like an X EXO version and an EXO version and I was like what is the sun all right so now that you've seen the intro from the last video we're back in the future or in the present or whatever my brain is lagging anyways hello welcome back let us jump into this we're gonna be watching the xxo version now and as said in the previous video i have no idea i, I mean i know that xxo is like the evil exo from their storyline but i don't know if they're like doing a different performance for this or if it's just you know different styling or whatever i don't i honestly have no idea i just saw this on my recommended and i was like i'm gonna be watching this now so that's what we're gonna be doing now let's go <laughs> Ooh. Honestly, that that really that styling with the hair does so much to make him look evil. It's not even funny. Like it really it, it is kind of like a cartoon villain styling, but it works. Like and with that look. <laughs> oh, Kai is wearing that outfit. Oh god, that means I'll I'll have to be concerned about missing pieces of clothing again, and I'll have to look if they're they reappear at some point in the video. I'll have to keep an eye out. I don't even have to look out for it. The camera is doing all the work for me already. <laughs> They're never giving Suho a shirt. Poor guy. He's gonna get a cold. Wanna say hello? Wanna say hello to the camera? <laughs> Hi! I'm sorry. Hello, we're interrupting the scheduled program for a word from our sponsor. Me! I am the sponsor, hello! I'm sorry to interrupt the video very, very quickly. I just wanted to announce something that I'm very, very excited about because I am going to be seeing Entity Dream and Exos Kai in concert in May. Unless Corona comes in a way, which we're definitely not hoping will happen. So yeah, I just quickly wanted to say that I am going to K-Pop Flex. I got tickets for both the first and the second day and I'm so, so excited. I did buy the tickets before either NCT nor Kai were announced so I am just incredibly shook about the outcome so yeah I'm very very excited feel free to let me know down below in the comments if you've got any recommendations for what you think might be on the set list for the groups that are attending and also I've got one spare ticket for Sunday Ticketmaster kind of effed me over <laughs> because I got a bug and I bought a wrong ticket on accident and I'm selling that one so for my info click down below I have a pinned comment about all of that jazz going on and yeah I'm very very excited and let's go back to the reaction I'm sorry bye <laughs> Wanna be in the video too? Yes? <laughs> oh, and look! It's their mom! Hey, mom! They're never giving Suho a shirt. Poor guy. He's gonna get a cold. Oh, yes! I love this part! <laughs> I have 
have to pause every now and then. I'm sorry. Wow. Okay. First up, now that we have like the direct comparison to the EXO version. This is hard. It's very, very different. And again, with this, like, what camera did they film this on? This is on the official EXO channel. Um, anyways, <laughs> again, I have to say with this one here, I love, love, love the styling. Now, personally, I love the styling in the other version more in theory, but I really like the styling for the X EXO. I mean, Kai's styling in particular, um, it doesn't really scream villain to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I really have to ride on this joke forever. Unless, I mean, I guess stealing my heart is also a crime in some way. I personally like the styling in the other video more, like, subjectively. But at the same time, I love this styling objectively, just from, like, how iconic it looks to me. Now, I've only seen Obsession the Music video once and then during editing my reaction, but I still remember all of these looks. So um, they do seem to be rather iconic because otherwise I wouldn't remember them. I specifically remember Kai's outfit and Baekhyun's outfit and Suho's outfit, which is incredible considering that at the time I didn't know who Suho was yet. Like I knew that Suho existed, but I couldn't tell him apart. I think both Chen and Suho at the time, I, I couldn't recognize them at the time yet. But still, I remember Suho's look so well. And then the other ones, now that I see them again, I'm like, oh yeah, of course. So they seem to be really, really iconic in my personal opinion and like the color schemes and everything everything. This just works out so well, especially with the hair, like Suho's flaming red hair. Chanyeol's pink hair, I love it. Love, love, love it. I'm kind of sad that we didn't get to see it in the other version, but I'm glad we get to see it now. And Chanyeol also is the one instance where I actually prefer his styling in here over the styling in the other version. Um, then Kai's green, like, I, I guess it's not green. I'm not sure how he called this um, color in English. In German it would be turquoise, so it's probably something similar. Kind of like turquoise. Oh, oh my god, I don't know how to pronounce that in English. Like, no clue. Funnily enough, I have watched an American streamer who didn't know how to pronounce it either, so I guess I'm fine being the German that I am. If native speakers don't know how to pronounce it, I'm good. And also Baekhyun's hair, like, I think silver and white hair is something we see a lot in K-pop, so it isn't iconic on its own, but then, like, the look of it, Personally, subjectively, not my style, but it is iconic in a way that it's very recognizable. And that leaves us with Seon and Chen. Now, as for Chen, he looks good. I don't think that his styling in particular is super iconic if we're looking at the other ones, just because all the other ones seem to have like some element that really makes them stick out a lot. And then Seon just, I mean, he just looks like Seon, but his face is just so captivating that I always stare at it anyways. I guess we could put Seon in a potato sack and I would be like, wow, his styling, he looks gorgeous. So it's whatever. <laughs> Oh, he actually does have a really cool look on. I just really didn't pay attention to it. I was always staring at his face. Sorry for the pause again. Really interesting thing is that I keep staring at Suho right now and it is actually not because of the missing shirt, but it is actually because of his hair. I don't know. At first glance, it's like really a stereotypical comic book villain kind of vibe to it. And it, it, it looks like it should look funny, but it kind of doesn't because it, it's kind of really working. <laughs> Oh, the two of them both in yellow dancing like like together all look so good. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry that I'm pausing. I just realized that, that that's probably intentional. Like how they're grouping with their colors. I, oh my God. I was just about to say that never stuck out to me, but I think it couldn't have stuck out to me before because I've obviously never seen them dancing in these colors, unless it was in a music video, in which case I didn't realize. But that is such a really, really cool bonus thing. I love that. <laughs> Oh, the sexiness in this room right now. Oh, 
really warm right now and it's February and like the Sun don't fall for the Sun we have like four degrees Celsius outside it's hot because of them Thing that actually stuck out to me in the last one already like in the exo version i have always heard shut up and go away but i wasn't sure if that was the actual lyrics or if i just wanted to hear it so when we had the first version of this video like the part one and i realized that it's actually shut up and go away that made me really happy for some weird reason <laughs> I sound so good. Damn, look at his muscles work. <laughs> oh my god okay i'm so so glad that this ended up on my recommended this was so fun to react to i feel like for you guys this might have been depending on how casually you're watching me if you're actually invested in me as a person or if you're just watching this for exo it might have been frustrating at some points for you to watch this because this was um not quite a professional reaction from my part i was treating this a lot like just sitting down and watching this and filming meanwhile <laughs> which is what I usually do, but usually I try to do it in a bit more of a professional manner. But as for today, I just had a bunch of fun with this and I paused as often as I wanted to and I tried to like not really pay attention to how some people might think that this was too much pausing because I don't know, I just kind of felt like it today and uh, this was so, so fun. I especially, especially have to say I love the harmonizing in both of these versions, like from the camera settings and everything, it was very, very similar just with a kind of different stage setup in the lighting and everything and of course very different styling but I really got a different feel from both of the two and it's really hard to say what my favorite was I think I, it's gonna go to the first version the exo version just because I just oh, like the lighting and the styling was so nice in there whereas here like it definitely had more of a sinister aura to it and I love, love, loved it as well. Like, I feel like both of these performances seem very iconic to me. Uh, what I especially just loved about it was the harmonizing. That just delivered so, so well in a live performance setting where you're not just hearing it, but you actually, like, see it performed. And, ah, uh, it sounded so exciting, honestly. Honestly, way more exciting than the studio version, even though I love the studio version. So I, hands down, love, love, loved it. Like, if there was a third version, like the I don't know ZXO version I wouldn't mind <laughs> like I could watch this a couple more times and I would still be entertained in like a different styling and just seeing the entire choreo and everything again because let us be honest I barely looked at the choreo even though I just saw it twice I was mainly just really listening to the vocals because the vocals were just like especially nice in here and of course like just looking at their styling and especially in this version kind of like looking at the styling from the perspective that this is supposed to be xxo and it's been fun i really really enjoyed this so thank you guys very very much for watching this with me today i know this was a bit of a very casual reaction in the sense that i paused even more than usual and I just really kind of hung out with you also the light has been so annoying this entire day but that's what I get for filming during like I think the storm isn't actually going on anymore it's kind of like the aftermath of the storm it's just like very windy so there's like the clouds going Wee -oo! Wee -oo! 
in front of the sun and uh, away from the sun again and all that jazz. Anyways, thank you so much for spending your time with me today. This has been a bunch of fun for me. I hope it's going to be a bunch of fun for you. And yeah, if you guys would like to, I would appreciate it a bunch if you could follow me down below on my socials, especially Instagram and Twitter, because barely anyone follows me on there. And I like I keep having these things where there's like little snippets from like editing or from reacting where I kind of want to share it with everyone but it's not that big that I want to put it on my community tab on YouTube but then when I post it like it always reaches the same four people who actually follow me on there so if you guys would like to I would very much appreciate it if you would join me on the platforms it would be a bunch of fun to just like actually also just like spontaneously ask hey I want to film a reaction today and I'm not feeling like filming any of these so just tell me what to do right now. Like just more spontaneous interaction. I would love that. So uh, if you would like to, feel free to follow me anywhere down below. And otherwise, feel free to watch anything from over here. Um, until next time, thank you so much for spending your time with me. Bye!